everyone, it's Julie. We are here with Amsterdam Fashion TV at the Sea Palace in Amsterdam. I have now got an interview with Esther Meyer from the label New Year. We are here for the documentary of uh, the right to copy. Could you tell us something about it? Yeah, actually um, my main inspiration is that I was copied myself and uh, I made a project about copying in the fashion industry, so the phenomenon of copying of your designs. Because like in 20, 20, 2012, I guess, I brought out a legging and H&M uh, copied that. With a smiley. Yeah, with smileys on the knees. And I tried to look into it if, uh, if I could sue them. And I had a good chance, chance, but if I wouldn't win it, it would cost me a lot of money. So it wasn't possible for me as a small creative designer. And then um, uh, I also visited Asia and I saw a lot of replicas there at night markets and stuff, like a lot of uh, uh, labels that I uh, want to position myself in between, you know, like the same, same kind of labels. And then I thought, let's make a project about it. So I made a documentary where I interviewed uh, creative designers that got copied, but also uh, uh, people that wear fake clothing. Uh, like ev everybody uh, that has to do something with the subject, but all everybody from a different view. So that's actually what I did, and the documentary is uh, showed here tonight for the first time. It's the premiere, and I also have an installation outside. And in the installation, you will see the original sample collection, but also the replicas that are made in China. And you can also get yourself an original New York replica on the night market. Fantastic. And uh, how have the reactions been till now? Because this is something new. Usually people aren't happy when they get copied like you, yeah. you wanted to sue them. So how have people reacted up till now? Have you spoken to different designers about it? I've spoken to a lot of designers and a lot of creative people are very frustrated when something like this happens. But also there are the designers like me are inspired to work harder, uh, come up with new ideas. So actually the reactions on the subject are very different. But the reaction on my project and like uh, how people respond to the fact that I'm making the documentary and stuff are really positive. And you are wearing one of your own designs? Yeah, but this is an original. So this fabric is really good and the print is good, you know, and like, and actually when I visited the factories, I do understand because, you know, those people aren't a problem. It's just the way uh, society is right now. And uh, they want to p don't want to pay the whole price. They, no, but they just have to make money. They just have to produce, they have to work. You know, I've seen the factories, I visited them. You will see it in the documentary. And it's easy for us to say something about that, but it's more about globalization, about uh, fac uh, uh, aspects like uh, internet and social media. That's why, you know, all the information travels so fast. And that's why everybody uses IDs of other people, you know, fashion is also uh, progressing way faster than in the 60s, 70s, 80s. And, you know, ev every week the trends are different and like even the youth now uh, is not skater anymore or this or that, you know, like it's, it's going faster and faster. So I just more want, I want to pay more attention to that aspect of creative copyright and people using uh, each other's IDs or logos from big fashion houses then like uh, make a negative story about it. Everyone, I'm here with Will. Will, welcome. Oh, thank you very much. It's good to be here. Good. And you've flown all the way from London? Well, all the way. It was it was a nice quick flight, but uh, we we passed through the clouds that were in the UK and came to all of this, which is what a lovely welcome when you've got the sun out there. And um, we are here at the presentation of the documentary of Esther Mayer. Uh, what do you think of her statement? Tell us about it. Uh, her statement of having all of this merchandise from China which effectively has been ripped off from her label. Um, I think it's fantastic. I think in the world we live in today, if you can't avoid having your label ripped off, then why not make a statement? And that's what she's done. And it's a bit like a, a music, a fashion alternative. It's the fashion alternative of when musicians put their music out for free. I, I heard that Miley Cyrus the other week did a whole album on SoundCloud for free. And in a way, this is the same statement. And there is so much stock over there that has actually come from a factory in China, which 
they haven't actually paid for and now we're able to enjoy all the clothes this evening so I think it's, it's amazing isn't it and do you think in the future we're gonna see a lot of more designers doing this I hope more designers do just as creative and clever things about showing off their brand and also almost just saying to the corporate world to, to get stuff if, if, if I avoid swearing because the thing is um, there's competition out there as well and and what she's done is she's created some statement that that uh, does exactly that she's told the corporate world you can copy my designs but actually um, I'm gonna make advantage of that if you do